Two lots. Reliable. Equipment. Fast. Now we got something pretty cool today. Got us a big laser. I'm gonna unbox it and get it ready to put in the workshop over here. Clearing out a spot for it over here. All right, here we go. We're gonna open this up. Pretty big. All right. Got our honeycomb, honeycomb uh, bed here. Looks nice. Not sure what this is. Some type of bracket. Oh, well, let's get a wall off and let's roll this baby out of here. All right, we got that wall off. I'm just gonna make like a little ramp or something. Oh, it looks like it's on a on a riser. I have to figure out how to get that off the riser, and hopefully we can slide her down. We'll keep plugging away at it. Well, I gotta figure out how to get this off of here. So I figured a couple of two by fours and then they got the riser discs here. I think I'm just gonna lift it up. We'll break this side off and hopefully these little side rails and then I can drop it back down onto the wheels. So let's see how it goes. Back up the back too. That way everything's sitting on two by fours. I think I got enough to do it. All right, she's off the wheel, or she's on the wheels now, and now we gotta roll it off. I'm gonna make like a little ramp or something. You know, I don't love bringing it down bumpy ramps, but. You don't have much of an option. Oh, holy crap, that was a lot of work. But we got her, guys. She's in the shop. I just have to undo all the, oh man, I'm sweating. Undo all the shrink wrap on it, and we'll uh, inspect everything. But we got it off that crate. That was a, that was a lot more work than I was anticipating. Let's 
it up. <sighs> got some foam bits in here. Looks like we got our chiller, some chiller accessories or a manual at least. Some of this stuff up here. Some styrofoam. There it is. We got a big old chiller. This is the 5200. Gonna need two hands for this. Looks like this is the laser tube, potentially. It says glass product, so I'm guessing that's what that is. We've got an extension here. For our uh, exhaust. Look at that here. Looks like a box. I wonder if this sticks on. I don't know if this sticks on the end. Maybe the laser sticks out past it or something. Oh, look at that. Nice Tupperware container. Oh, look at that. They even got us clamps. Clamps, power plug. Looks like some sort of bag. Okay. That's nice. Might have to open the side up. I don't know how they got this box in here. I'd probably just open this side panel over here. Just grab an Allen wrench. Pop this open, I should be able to slide it right off the side. Got some of our connections. Looks like compressed air, water in and out. What is this? Chiller sensor. Must be the, no, no one to turn on. There's the chiller plug. You know what that is? Oh, that's cool. And then uh, exhaust, air extractor. Oh, that's what that is. That's the uh, what do you call it? The exhaust pump what we got in here we got some stuff down here too it looks like a box it is a blower motor sweet for the exhaust looks like we got a flash drive even that's pretty cool keys all the belts linear rails Looks like a really stout machine. Hundred watt laser right there. It says 103 watts. Well hey, let's open this up. If you look at that, got us another laser tube. Well, shit, we'll be running forever. 103 watts out of that guy. This is amazing. Well, thank you, Ray. This is a pretty, pretty sweet machine. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely beyond my expectations. I, I honestly, I'm kind of speechless. I've never had such a, like, professional level machine yet. So this is like my first dive into it, and I'm pretty excited about it. So. Carton. So far, like super impressed. The packaging was great. The crate arrived very safely. Uh, I see no dents, no issues with this machine at all. I haven't powered it up yet, but I suspect it'll power up just fine. Well, there you have it, guys. Here's my RM Laser unboxing. I think I've gone through everything that I wanted to go through. Got my honeycomb bed in there. I got all the zip ties off the belts. We're basically done and ready to power this baby on. I do got a couple things I want to do first. I got to get some uh, 
some liquid for the chiller. I think I need some antifreeze of some sort. And then I want to hook up the, the blower motor and the exhaust vent. I'm going to probably vent that right outside of my garage over here. That way I don't have to deal with any of the smoke. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I will definitely have more videos coming up soon, so stay tuned for those. See ya. Two lots. Reliable. Equipment. Fast.